Hello, this is Sickle Yield, and I'm here to talk to you about making your own video tutorials on a budget. Here I assume that you have a little bit to spend, but not very much, because you can't get around needing a microphone. Here I've brought up the Amazon.com page for this universal mic that I'm using right now. It's about $16. And, in fact, you may already have one if you have one of the gaming consoles that it's originally intended for. But it also works great in Windows 7, as you can hear. It does not come with a mic stand, so you can make a field expedient stand by cutting holes in the packaging that it came in. Or, you can do what I'm currently doing and insert it into the top of your shirt collar to keep it near your face and away from clicking and tapping sounds from your keyboard and mouse. Once you have a universal microphone, or any other microphone, plugged into your computer, set up, working, and recording, you need a desktop recording software. I am using Cam Studio, which you can download at camstudio.org. It is a free open source streaming video software, and you can see that I've left the window running here on my desktop. I will talk about settings for that in just a minute. Optionally, if you don't want to have to do an awful lot of takes, you can also use a video editing software. Windows Movie Maker is easy to use, available for free, and it is legal to use it for commercial projects, provided that you're not selling any part of Movie Maker itself, just the videos that you've edited with it. Now, once we've got that out of the way, here's how you use Cam Studio. I've got the program installed, so I would just click the icon down here and press the record button, which is currently grayed out because I'm recording as we speak. Now some useful settings for this. For region, I currently have it on full screen, but you can also record just a window or a fixed region, which will bring up a flashing square for you to put in place as to the area you want to record. For options, under video options, I want to record to this capture rate, and so that's what I'm using. I looked up what to use for this, and that's also why I'm using the lossless codec. You can do your own research, but these settings seem to be working for me right now. I have checked record audio from microphone, the record audio from speakers option is for if you want to record the output of your speakers, for example, for a video game Let's Play. But right now, of course, I'm interested in tutorials, so I'm going to record audio from the microphone. I don't normally use automatically stop recording. Instead, under program options, I use keyboard shortcuts. My Cam Studio starts recording when I press Control Shift R and stops when I press Control shift s as I will at the end of this video. I don't normally play the AVI when the recording stops. I do normally minimize the program on Start Recording. I haven't done that this time so that we can see Cam Studio and I can show you these options. Normally, under name of AVI file, I have it ask for a file name rather than use an automatic one. And I choose my own user specified directory for recording because I don't want it to bloat up my SSD that I use for booting with temp files. The SSD on this computer is rather small compared to the very large disks that I have that are not boot drives. Under Tools, I haven't used the Screen Annotations feature yet, but I've, or the Effects, I've been told those are nice. But feel free to explore that on your own time. Once you've got a video recorded and you've pressed Stop, if you have those options that I use, Cam Studio will ask you where to save. I have a directory set up just for Cam Studio files. And I will right-click on one of my videos here to open with Windows Movie Maker. And the simplest sort of edit that I will do with this, normally, is to cut off the beginning or end 
to get rid of pops or clicks or unwanted noises. Okay, quick test of Cam Studio. Just as you can hear there, some unwanted noises before I stop talking. So I will drag this slider back there. Okay. To just before I start talking. Just before I hear myself take a breath. And with that slider there, I will click on this edit tab and set start point. And now. Okay, quick test of Cam Studio. The video starts where I told it to start, and it's clipped off that unwanted portion. So when I've finished making these sorts of edits, and there are many tutorials available for Windows Movie Maker as well, both on YouTube and through a Google search, I'll go to the Home tab. I can upload directly to YouTube if I use a Windows Live account, but I don't normally connect this computer to the internet for security reasons, because it's my main and I can't afford to have it hijacked or get viruses. So I will choose Save Movie and YouTube. You can see it chose MP4 for me there. And I'll just call it Test Video Edited and Save. And it'll take a minute for Movie Maker to save the video. Now you can save the project in Movie Maker separately if you like using this button. I'm just going to close it for now. And since I exported that to MP4, here's that. I'll open it with Windows Media Player. Okay, quick test of Cam Studio. Just making sure that. And there we are. It maximized Windows Media Player because I recorded at the size of my entire desktop. So I can shrink that for smaller viewing if I wish. And that is all there is to it. This is a basic method. It does not produce a very nuanced recording, as you would need for an ASMR video or the like, but it's decent for recording tutorials. This won't be as interesting to watch. I'm just going to briefly mention a couple of other things, one of them being vocal performance. This is not my normal speaking voice. I'm raising the pitch of my voice slightly in order to make it clearer for the recording. And I am pausing more often in order to avoid saying uh or um or using other unwanted metasyntactic variables in my speech. I've been practicing not making sorts of noises as well. And it's actually pretty easy to train yourself not to do that with practice. So I recommend just spending a little bit of time doing daily recordings or recordings that only you will listen to just to practice getting down what you want your voice to sound like over the microphone. All right, that's all for now. Thank you very much for listening and happy rendering everybody.